Kia ora. Welcome to Wake Up New Zealand. I'm William. And I'm Machi. In today's stories, a new crime wave is sweeping the country in the form of woolen graffiti. Scientists have invented an invisibility cloak. We help them find it in the latest weather update. But first up, if you think the world is getting more and more topsy-turvy, it turns out you're right. Builders in Germany have built an upside-down house which rests on its roof. Inside, there are beds screwed to the ceiling, upside-down wardrobes, an upside-down kitchen, and even an upturned bathroom. We cross now to our reporter, Jacob. Thanks. I'm here with the owner of the house, Nevaeh, and the builder, Cameron. So what made you decide to build a house that is completely upside down? Well, you see, my mama bed told me to turn my life upside down, so I did to make her proud. OK. So what are some of your favourite things about living in a house that is completely upside down? Um, my grandchildren can play how to go seek. Yeah. OK. Uh, what are some of the challenges of living in a house that is completely upside down? Sleeping, drinking, going to the bathroom and eating. Okay, well, thank you guys for joining us. Back to you, William, William and Machu. Now for a story that is truly out of sight. Scientists in Europe have created an invisibility cloak which can hide objects by bending light waves. However, since inventing the invisibility cloak, scientists have been having trouble finding it. The inventor says, as soon as we put it down somewhere, it just disappears. Hoping to see through the reasons behind the invisibility cloak, here is our reporter, Zoe. My name's Zoe, and here today we have Adriana, the scientist behind the invisibility cloak. So, Adriana, tell me, what made you want to invent the invisibility cloak in the first place? Well, I used to sneak downstairs at night to get snacks, but my mum would always catch me, so I wanted to make something that could make me invisible. Interesting. Can you show me how this inv invisibility cloak works? Well, I actually have it here with me and you kind of just wrap it around yourself and you're invisible. That's pretty crazy. Final question, Adriana. What do you hope the invisibility cloak will be used for? Well, sometimes you just got to sneak around at night. Interesting. You made that very clear for us, Adriana. Thank you for coming in today. Back to you guys on the news desk. Thanks, Zoe. Next up, there is a new wave of graffiti crime that's covering the country thanks to an underground gang known as the Midnight Knitters. Without permission, these woolly criminals are covering tree branches and lampposts with jerseys and scarves in the dead of the night. Police say we are stitching together a case, but there is no real pattern to the crimes. We cross now to Nicola with an exclusive interview. Thanks, William. I'm Nicola, and joining me here today is a member of the Midnight Knitters gang. Yo, yo, Sophia, and thanks for joining us. What led you to the dark underworld of knitted graffiti? Well, you see, I was kind of in my dark era and I was trying to find ways to like colour again, so it such a YouTube, tuto YouTube tutorial on how to knit. Well, wow, very inspiring. Do you see yourself as a criminal? Why or why not? I do not see myself as a criminal because who doesn't like to see beautiful knitted artwork all over the city? Very true. Apart from trees and lampposts, what else would you like to graffiti with your woolen creations? Probably houses, schools, dogs and maybe even people. You sure that's legal? Pretty sure. Well, thank you for your time, Sophia. Back to y'all at the news desk. Well, at least they'll be warm if they get caught and go to jail. Now, let's have a look at the weather up and down the country with Lucy and Isabel. What's in store? Thanks, Machu. Let's have a look at tomorrow's weather. In Auckland, there'll be a mix of fair and unfair conditions, but those are the conditions and you'll just have to accept them. There'll be no weather at all for Hamilton that's taking a short holiday, but it will be expected to be back by the weekend. Wellington will have another capital day with no wind at all, so keep calm and carry on. Christchurch will be cold and unfriendly until late morning, then the sun will pop over for a visit. Everyone likes the sun. That's all from us, now it's back to the news desk. Thanks Lucy and Isabel. Well, that's all we have time for. We hope you've enjoyed today's show. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you again next time. Until then, I'm Machu and I'm William for Wake Up New Zealand. Zealand.